this is why the carbohydrate conversation has to come into play when you hit for anyone but specifically when you hit 40 plus specifically if you are pre and if you're premenopausal and menopausal <laughs> menopausal and cutting out carbs should you also be cutting out dairy and even if it doesn't if you don't have a problem with it the message that we have all been given over the years is to eat less and exercise more so for many many women it's a case of well just because I hit 40 like why should I do anything different right I hit 40 why should I do anything different I'm still going to eat less and exercise more, right? So at this point, your hormones have dropped. So estrogen and progesterone have dropped or are dropping. You're becoming estrogen dominant. So the stress hormone cortisol um, is now a bigger player than it was. It was a big player. Now it's a bigger player, right? So the stress hormone cortisol is now a bigger player. And now you're pissed off because you're gaining weight, specifically belly fat. So you decide that you're going to go on a diet, right? You're going to go on a diet. And let's say, for argument's sake, you go on a traditional plan, a traditional diet plan, so something that is focused only on calories, right? So it's only focused on calories, you're dropping your calories, and you're exercising. You're dropping your calories, but your diet is full of whole grains, healthy foods, not going to lie, they're healthy foods. So your diet is now full of whole grains. You're starting your breakfast off with a small bowl of oatmeal or some special K or whole wheat toast or, um, I don't know, granola, some, you know, some diet cereal, something like that. So you're starting your day off with that. And then at lunchtime, you're having a baked potato with, I don't know, some tuna and some salad. And at dinner, you're having a piece of meat, chicken, something with, or fish with a side salad or some vegetables. And maybe you have like some boiled potatoes, right? All really healthy and all low calorie. And you're going to the gym or you're running and you're, and you're doing cardio exercise and you're doing this like three, four times a week to try and burn off whatever you're eating to try and get this goal, get this weight down, right? But the problem is you are now estrogen dominant, progesterone is low, and you are now way more stress reactive, right? So when we hit menopause, we become more stress reactive. So it doesn't even matter. You could still be food reactive and you could have always been food reactive, but your body is now more stress reactive. You may not feel stressed, but on a hormonal level, your body is more stress reactive. And this is why the carbohydrate conversation has to come into play when you hit for anyone, but specifically when you hit 40 plus. Specifically, if you are pre and if you're premenopausal and menopausal, right? Why is this important? Because your body can now not react to the amount of carbohydrates you maybe once had. So your body, your hormones have changed. We know this happens. We know as women, we may not understand all the science behind it, but we know that when we hit menopause, things change in our bodies. Things change. Things feel different. So what happens is you are now stress reactive. Your body is now more stress reactive. And this includes dieting and food and exercise. So what happens is you are now more stress reactive when it comes to food. So your carbohydrate levels need to be basically perfect, right? And you know that I don't like that word, but you have to find the exact balance of carbohydrates that you can tolerate, right? It's about tolerance. And this isn't tolerance as... Um, you know, you'll have a reaction to them. It's not like an intolerance where you'll come out in, in a rash or anything, but it's a tolerance that your body can work with. So what's happening is you don't need to go zero carb, but you might need to go very low carb, right? And we don't like that. We don't like hearing that, and I understand that. But we have to consider the fact that it's this, what are the other options, right? So I think it's definitely worth understanding that if what you're doing isn't working, then carbohydrates 
would be one of the main focuses. Now, of course, protein, fiber, water, but we're talking specifically about menopause and carbs. So the idea is that you need to focus on your choices and instead of focusing on low calorie, you need to focus on carbohydrates. So you need to specifically look at your carbohydrate tolerance. Now, what this means is how much carbohydrate do you really need? Because I know and I can stand here and say, I work out, but yet I do not need to have carbs at breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. Now that's specific to me. I'm not menopausal. I am. Uh, I do better on other foods than carbs. I still eat carbohydrates, but as somebody who used to have a very high starch diet, somebody who is food reactive and is now stress reactive, I do know that many of us are walking around doing diets like Slimming World and Weight Watchers and yada, 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 which promote high starchy breakfasts, high starchy lunches, high starchy dinners, cut the calories, do exercise, and boom, you're gonna be okay. But we know this doesn't work, and we go back to it time and time again because it's the only thing we know. We go back to it because it makes sense. 500 calories a day, three and a half thousand a week, one pound of fat. It's not fat, it's weight. It's not incorrect, but it's incomplete. So the idea that we should be focusing only on calories at any age is incorrect, is incomplete, sorry. But specifically when you hit that age bracket, you need to think about limiting your carbohydrates and focusing on choices over calories, right? I'm going to say that again. When you hit menopause and at any age, I would say, you know, start doing it now because Um, I would say start doing it now because I feel like it puts you in better position to really understand hormonally what your body is doing on a day-to-day basis. Um, But I would specifically say focus on choices over calories and really, really dive in on that.